Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna share with you some mistakes people make when going to Abu Dhabi. All right guys, so Abu Dhabi is one of those places in the Middle East that has a very lavish culture and it's very easy to get drawn in and fall into that and if you don't have all kinds of money to spend um, you do need to realize that it's not necessarily a budget friendly location so you do kind of have to do your research and look ahead of time at the things that you do want to do and the places you do want to visit while you're there um, before you go so that you know how how much you're going to need to spend the food is is expensive transportation is expensive and a lot of the activities are expensive so just keep that in mind as you are planning your trip to Abu Dhabi that it is a very lavish culture so not super friendly to our budget friends next one is understanding the culture so um, just do a little bit of research again before you go there are some you know things out in public that are frowned upon like a public display of affection um, you know, women should be dressed uh, modestly. It is a very modest uh, type culture, so that's important. Um, the other thing is the use of alcohol uh, in public spaces or walking around intoxicated. This isn't like, you know, walking around in Las Vegas in the U.S. Um, you really have to be conscious of those things. The alcohol laws are a little bit uh, challenging to understand if you're not from there and aren't used to that type of an environment. Just know that this isn't a place where you're just going to go and just, you know, roam around and it's just a open container and all kinds of fun stuff. So keep those things. Those are some things to, to think about when you're there. Next is that um, you need to be really aware of when Ramadan is observed because that would be a, a very not as fun time to go to Abu Dhabi. It is uh, mainly a Muslim culture, even though uh, there are a lot of different uh, people groups there. It is mainly a Muslim culture as a whole. And a Ramadan is going to be observed by a majority of the businesses including restaurants and hotels and different things like that so keep thinking make sure that you're looking at your calendar and keeping that in mind as you're planning your trip to Abu Dhabi next is the weekend the weekend because of the religious culture there actually starts on Thursday and shockingly enough Sunday is just basically like their Monday so um, it was really kind of weird to be there on Sunday and think like why is there so much traffic is it like a holiday or where is everybody going they were just carrying on with their regular day it was normal rush hour traffic but um we didn't realize that our first uh, weekend there, that the weekend actually starts on Thursday. So just um, something else to kind of think about as you're planning out your trip. Um, you know, you think, oh, I'm going to go on Sunday because it's going to be less busy. It's not. <laughs> or it's it's going to be less busy on Sunday. It's not going to be less busy on Thursday. Um, another thing to think about. And then the, the next, the last thing really is that um, Abu Dhabi is actually huge. A lot of people think that Dubai is the capital of the United Arab Emirates, but it is Abu Dhabi and it is gigantic. It is a huge portion, the biggest of all of the Emirates. So you're going to have to dedicate quite a bit of time um, to seeing all of Abu Dhabi if that's what you want to do with your time there. You're going to want to be there um, for more than just a day. So plan that out and really look at the different things that you want to do when you're headed to Abu Dhabi. Hopefully these tips will help you out as you're planning your trip and you won't make these mistakes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment on when you're planning on going.